and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Thresh Control. Going to be our first deck today. We got Rank Up Sunday on this Easter Sunday. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Uh, we're playing for uh, slow. You know, yesterday we had like the aggro day. Didn't you know work out the best, but today we're we're playing four really good decks. Um, but they're all pretty slow decks, and um, and you know, like we're trying to win the late game and, and grind down the opponents. That's what we're going to be doing today. So we should have a lot of awesome games, um, and should be good. And hopefully we will rank back up because over the past week, you know, we had a couple of days like we've played some janky decks, and then our aggro day didn't go so well yesterday. So we're our rank is pretty low right now. So time to rank back up. Let's start with Karma Thresh Control. Um, this is basically like Spooky Karma, um, but I like playing with Thresh. Um, last time that we played the deck, we played three Thresh, three Rekindler, and those, it kind of got a little clunky in hand of, of having like just too many Threshes and Rekindlers and stuff like that. So I'm cutting back on each of those. I am adding a Commander Ledros though to help us beat other Karma decks um, in the late game. But then also adding in one Will of Ionia, one the box, you know, like just some other uh, interaction for the mid game um taking and so then my other card that i took out to be able to fit those in was a frenzied skitter -er. yeah this is this is definitely a good deck you know just a you know classic control um using all of the shadow isles um aspects to help against aggro decks and help control the board and have leveled up karma when you the game in the late game that's what it's all about all right so here we go let's let's start it off Let's uh, go over to the play. Karma Thresh. Ranked. Let's do... Um, do the Clifftop Monastery. And then Gloomtooth. So those are our two. Alright, here we go. 1746. I wonder what happened in 1746. What do y'all think was going on in 1746? Alright, Nivea Trindamir. Well, we're going to keep Deny. These can go... We'll just shuffle the Will of Ionia back also. But I could see Will of Ionia being pretty good against... You know, like, it's great against, like, Trindamir, for example. Or, you know, like, they play... A, spend a lot of mana on something, and then we bounce it back to their hand. Really good tempo card. It looks like we got it right back. But I kind of have nothing to do. The opponent's like, I got nothing to do also. Where there is light, there is hope. And I'm assuming the karma's gonna die. Pretty fair assumption. We got a backup. Ionia speaks through me. Um, no, it's denied. I could cease. Uh, I could just bounce it back to my hand. That will be denied. No. Problem is, I I don't have another deny now for a ruination, but I guess we can go straight to combat. I do need to like play another card.
could play the Awakener, but I'm going to I'm going to save Awakener. We need to get another wow. Karma made it deny. That's amazing. We must make our own path. That's amazing. Already getting lucky. Clearing a card out of our hand so that we can get the free card with Karma and then draw a card also. And mind as one. It was either Withering Will or the Box. One of those two. This game looks pretty over. There we go. Alright, so started off with a quick win. About as fast of a win as we're gonna have. Attacked with one spider. All right, 1646. So what was going on in 1646? 1600s. Before... Oh man, I'd... Oh my, I'm gonna sound stupid if I start saying history stuff. And I'm pretty sure it's before Jamestown. I think Jamestown was in the 1700s, as far as uh, you know, colonizing the United States. Karma as start over. Basically, if my opponent does what we just did, of like, play Karma right away, and we can't kill Karma, and then Karma just gets him too much value, like that's, that's what I'm scared of. Um, so with that respect, maybe I should've kept the Vengeance. But Vengeance kills Karma at a lot of mana. Maybe they have like jury rig or something. I walk my path alone. Get a monk. Man's not very good. I would have mulliganed awakener, I would mulligan ruination. Mulligan, Withering Whale, and Vile Feast. We have, we have two cards that I like. We have Solitary Monk, and we have Miscall. And that's it. So one of our two cards is already gone. Good. 
me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. Trump up still good. Could have Ruination Mana next turn if we need it. You name it, I'll nick it. Should have just played Skitter. If I must. I don't know. I don't know here. Probably should have just played Skitter. Ruination, it gives them a, a really good um, gives them a really good chance to play Karma. I will play my part. Ionia speaks through me. They're definitely just setting up like the one turn kill. Too bad. I'll have a draw. just my best play even though you know like obviously there's a lot of things that my opponent can have that really hurt us but it's 
not too bad, all things considered. Six life. What you looking for? Have the will of Ionia to bounce in Ezreal. My path is clear. An open heart teaches more than open eyes. And we'll be at sixteen. game out it's not gonna be easy that's for sure where there is life there is hope hmm so if we bounce one and kill the other out of these two I think I'd rather kill the karma Right? Oh, I don't have the mana to cast this also. What am I thinking? That's too much mana. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. So one mana, gain six life, do four damage to the opponent. strong. attacking with this 5-4. I guess we just don't do it. Man, Karma Ezreal is so insane. I'm just dead. Like it's all bur it's all burst spell speed stuff. Even even if I would have tried to play in this stuff, I mean, I had to. I guess I had to grasp the karma during combat and make them play something during combat. One burst spell damage. Yeah, karma Ezreal is just insane. Alright, 
playing against Lux. I'm playing Karma, so I can't I can't complain too much. But we're both late game decks, and they have they have that reach. Ezreal gives the deck that reach. That's you know, to, you know we're at 20 life. Can't be at a higher life total. Drop Ezreal, 20 burst spell damage, dead. So thought about Karma as without any other units. I, I mean, I think you're just downgrading the deck. Hey, Void Rose. Uh, like, we don't really have any other... Like, there's no, like, real great sweepers. Like, I will keep us safe. Um, I mean, especially the 4-3, the um, Chump Wump. Chump Wump is just... I think Chump Wump's too good. To not be playing. Steal over sources. So of course we'd we'd normally want to play Karma or Thresh, but I wanted to have enough mana for for uh, deny if they play a six mana spell that would turn on. Uh, these things. No Wanted to be able to deny. play Deny on it. Don't want them to be able to turn on turn this insider into a This is a way for me to play Deny, turning Will of Ionia into Deny, but also we have to put Thresh back into our hand, but then we still get to keep Deny for their next six mana spell. Strike down the corrupt. Which the problem is if they just play a Lux. That would be the problem. The sun is shining. We should too. Why'd I have to say anything? Night falls. Well, I guess I do have Vengeance plus Deny Mana. Still vengeance and deny. I've got your back. Bring them home safely. Everywhere I go, the light follows. That's not great. It's not great. Steal over sorcery. It's too late for you. 
Really glad they didn't have back to back. You know, back to back being burst speed and everything would have been rough. Where there is life, there is hope. Still have deny available. This puts Lux down to one toughness as far as Withering Whale is concerned. I guess this is bad. They got two remembrances. I didn't. I didn't think about remembrance being four mana and then being able to cast two remembrance. That's pretty rough. That's really rough. All right. Can we draw a ruination, please? The Undying is a pretty good draw. I've got your back. Bring them home safely. Because we get double grasp, so the first, you know, so the first one gets rid of the barrier, and the second one gets rid of the Lux. Just three cards. Banish the unworthy. Can... can still grind pretty well. Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. Hmm. Gonna play the Awakener. Yes. 
suspicious. So we can bounce both of these back, replay Rekindler, get another Karma. I trust my instincts. That hurts. Just take the two. If we bounce this back, does it turn into the 6-6 six, six again, or is it still purified? Is it still silenced when it's in my hand? I guess we'll find out. Not purified anymore. Return to us. That answers that question. Strike for justice. So we're doing just fine on health. going oh wait Does this work yeah so this is us going to three right okay we gain six take five so we go to six and then take three go to three okay i need to just cast this health potion better to to cast the health potion after we have more karmas but uh, i guess i guess they were done they didn't want to keep didn't want to keep fighting i was gonna have three karmas and you know we we're, we're about to get two awakeners two karmas but the problem is i, I kind of had nothing else like actually had nothing oh you, know, you know like we had our draw steps though but none of our cards in hand, because our, our board was going to be full, so we couldn't play, like, Thresh or the 3-mana 6-6 six, six anymore. The Emerald Awakener. Alright, Karina Control. Let's get rid of these. We may need Vile Feast. Keep the Vile Feast, just in case. You know, they have, like, something small that I want to get rid of right away. Got skitters and monks to tussle with Elise. I know what lurks in the shadows. I'll we take it. A bite. Swift and silent as the breeze. Excited, discarding a grasp. Fast as wind, light as air. That 
can be problematic. That can be problematic. We need a withering whale. Let me change into something more. Come hey, Earth G GGs. Good games. That was, yeah, that was, that was a good game. That's it. It, I actually, like, when you conceded at the end, you know, I was going to have all those karmas and everything, but I actually had nothing in my hand that did anything. Like, I just had, like, some creatures and the box. So I didn't have anything that did anything. But... More than likely, I was going to draw into something. I had all those karmas. More than likely, I would have been just fine. Why can't I have the box last round? Speaking of the box. So we want... So I want the solitary monk to be the thing that dies. Uh, maybe that's wrong. I was thinking then, then we get solitary monk back. Be able to pick this up and then re reset this thing from being a 3-2 to being a 3-3 three, three again. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I, would, I probably would have drawn something. That's just fine. Withering whale. I need no weapon. Why don't you show up earlier? Still helpful there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is definitely a matchup where progress day is really good. Yeah, even in, even in the opener, you probably just want to keep it. Um, you know, a spooky karma kind of deck. Uh, like like this deck can't can't win quickly at all, and is going to be playing for a long time. Keep the progress day. Heimerdinger would have definitely caused me a lot of troubles. If, or no, you didn't have Heimerdinger, you just had Lux, right? Yeah, no Heimerdinger. Yeah, good luck to you too. GG's, good luck your next match. Cool, cool. How, how's the Lux going for you? Your your single combat and then double uh, double remembrance play was really good. That was a really good play. Alright, hoping karma stays alive. Fresh offerings. Not our best hit. Like a flower, Zahn will bloom. 
but deny is pretty good. So I'm likely going to need to vengeance the Queen Elise. I assume the Queen Elise is going to kill my karma. So I don't get to play other stuff. Oh, dang, you went from 35 to 2,000. Oh, man. Yeah, good good time just to test, test random decks on the ladder, though. That's true. That's a good time. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't had a very successful week either. I'm right, right around you down here. We're having today. I'm, I'm playing like you know. I'm actually playing good decks today and trying to rank up. It's my Sunday is my rank up day. So that's what we got uh, going on with that. Let's get some new spells. Damn, Karma is so busted. Busted. Ledros dealt some damage, we'll just gain the life right back. Life lost, I guess they'll just replay Ledros and do some more damage. So Skitter will be able to trade with Karina Varaza. Not really sure what the harrowing is going to do for us, especially a double harrowing. Um, I guess we'll make some more karmas. Some ephemeral one-one karmas. Seems like a fun thing to do. Life total back to 20. And still have that available. Do not question our resolve. Well, this I'm not going to cast this, but we can at least just see what we do. It would give us, um, I don't know. I guess a whole bunch of karmas. Why would I have all these karmas in my hand? Oh, because the last one would be solitary monk that would bounce all the karmas to my hand. Oh, that's probably not good. We will not stand by. Don't really want to bounce everything back to my hand. And, you know, we got double Mark of the Isles for some more pump.
Karma Thresh is a good deck. Right. We're going back in time. 15 17. Ugh, if it wasn't for Karma Ezreal doing 20 damage one turn. You know, at 20, they just drop Ezreal with a Karma in play and just do 20 damage of Burst Spell stuff that I can't interact with. If it wasn't for that, would be un undefeated, puppy. Alright, so we're playing Elusives. Kinko Elusives. Kinko Elusives is still a good deck. This is a under it's still probably an underrated deck these days. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's possible. But it's still a good deck. I cast Grasp of the Undying, they'll save it. Like, they're absolutely playing this with protection. Like, 100%. 100% playing Zed with protection. So I can bounce it. Then vengeance, vengeance it later on. These are dangerous lands. Eyes open. Master. Wow. That was a really, really good turn for me. Skitter was really nice. Alright, there's the protection that they had for the Zed. Wow, that's a great draw. Good, doing good. Do not deny me. Eight mana. So they've already used two dwist. Two Twin Disciplines and an Elixir of Iron. Ugh. But then they also had to deny. Dang. Okay, well. That didn't end up working for me too well. Thinking, feeling. Is that 
that all you do? Small minds know only action. Um, that thing's pretty big. Yeah, that thing's pretty big. Guess we can't vengeance the Zed anymore. We're gonna have to vengeance that thing. Alright, that's fine. Is this card underplayed? The Empyrean? Is it underplayed? If I play Awakener, I'm basically not going to be able to play Monk. So if we play Monk this turn, then next turn we have our 10 mana, then we, we need to play like Awakener before combat, so then we're down to 7 mana. Which I could then like Skitter or Karma. Huh. Well, I guess... Karma with 10 mana just scares people. I think that's what we're learning here today. Just having karma with 10 mana. Very, very scary. But alright, so yeah, we went 4-1. and one, Did lose to Ezreal Karma. Um, you know, and that can be that can be kind of tough. Like, Ezra, like the Ezreal's ability to just mow you down with burst spell speeds. That can definitely be tough. Um, but besides that... We won all the rest of the games. A lot of close games, though. You know, a lot of a lot of really good games. Um, that's just kind of the deck. But Karma is Karma is awesome. Um, there we go. Do y'all think that anything's going to happen with Karma this this week? It looks like we're going to have uh, tomorrow. They should announce the next patch. We should have a balance patch. Um, you know, there is the the leaks on read it about it with like Callista and Yasuo being um being buffed and stuff like that do y'all think anything's gonna happen to Karma or Ezreal I mean really Karma but yeah you think Karma's the most fun most unfun card to play against and Nerf says probably Nerf and Ez would make more sense I could see it uh would make Karma 3-3 three, three. I don't think I don't think anything would change with Karma if Karma is the 3-3 three, three or 4-3 three. I don't think there's any real difference with that um yeah you don't think nerfing guys makes more sense yeah i i don't know i'll be surprised i'll just say that i'll be surprised if nothing happens to either card i think something's gonna happen to one of the cards is my is my guess you know i'm just obviously just guessing here but those y'all watching on youtube leave you know let me know in the comments what would you do to karma or ezreal um if you think that uh you know, if, if there's, like, a way to balance this, like, how, how would you balance those cards? Hmm. Yeah. All right, but there we go. So that's Karma Thresh Control, our first deck on Rank Up Sunday. Um, also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there for those of y'all on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching some Karma Thresh Control, and I'll see you for the next video.